Today, we are diving into the mesmerizing realm of one of the industry's legendary figures, none other than the masterful artist, Manuel San Julián. Join me as we explore the hauntingly beautiful landscapes of San Julián's imagination, from his groundbreaking work with Warren Publishing in the 70s, to his diverse contribution in both the American and European comic book scenes. Get ready to be transported into a world where shadows dance, colors come alive, and every stroke of the brush tells a story. Manuel Pérez Clemente, best known as San Julián, was born in Barcelona, Spain, in 1941. When he was young, he didn't think of drawing as something he could do for a job. He saw it more like a hobby. After he finished high school at 16, he went to the Nautical School of Barcelona because he wanted to be a merchant seaman like others in his family. But to make some extra cash, he had this idea of creating a collection of portraits of movie stars. He then offered his services to the distribution agencies to design posters. After several rejections, he finally got a trial job from Fox around 1959. His first assignment was an advertising work on the diary of Anne Frank. With such a obvious talent for drawing, a friend who was an art restorer recommended him to study at the Academy of Fine Arts of San Jordi. And so, at the age of 20, he began his studies in fine arts, leaving behind his nautical studies to focus on a career as an artist. Eventually, his artistic path led him to Bruguera, an important publishing house in Spain, founded in the early 20th century. There, he was commissioned to do romantic comics, which was not much to his liking, so he looked for another publisher with work more suited to the style he wanted to develop. That's when San Julián became part of Josep Toutain's Selecciones Ilustradas Art Agency. Toutain was an important figure in the Spanish comic book scene, being an editor, a scriptwriter, and cartoonist. At first, San Julián did work for the comic section, but soon people outside of Spain started noticing his full-color artwork. His comics were published in Germany, various Scandinavian countries, and eventually in England. In the 70s, San Julián created a couple of comic adaptations of movies and serialized a story in Simok magazine. He found success in British market, collaborating with well-known publishers like Futura, Fontana, and Harrow. Starting in the early 70s, Selecciones Ilustradas started getting requests to do work for American publishers. Initially, they were asked to do comic illustrations, but later they also got requests for cover designs. Once Warren Publishing saw examples of San Julián's artwork, they asked him to create several covers for their horror and fantasy publications. He did illustrations for Warren publications such as Creepy, Eerie, and Famous Monsters. However, he is most connected with the Vampirella series, creating many memorable covers for it. Since then, San Julián has collaborated with different U.S. publishers, including Dell, Ace, Da, Van Tam, Fawcett, and Berkeley. Also, he has done work for the horror maestro, Clyde Barker. San Julián excels in creating atmospheric and moody scenes. His use of light and shadow is masterful, contributing to the overall ambiance in his illustrations. This skill is especially pronounced in his horror team artwork, where he effectively builds suspense and tension through his use of shadows. His illustrations are marked by intricate details and commitment to realism. Whether depicting characters, landscapes, or fantastical creatures, he pays careful attention to the finer elements, bringing a high level of detail to his work. 
his color palette adds vibrancy to his illustrations, enhancing the visual impact of his artwork. This is particularly evident in his full-color covers for horror and fantasy publications. San Julian often portrays beautiful and mysterious female characters in his art, adding a touch of sensuality and elegance to his compositions. These characters become central to the storytelling aspect of his illustrations. His compositions are dynamic and carefully crafted to draw the viewer into the narrative. San Julian's ability to arrange elements in a visually engaging way contributes to the storytelling aspect of his artwork. While he is best known for his work in horror and fantasy genres, San Julian has showcased versatility by contributing to various artistic endeavors, including movie poster designs, book covers, and illustrations for different genres. In 1984, he parted ways with Selecciones Ilustradas. After that, he was affiliated with Norma Agency, a part of Norma Editorial. During this period, most of his work was focused on the United States. Almost all of his assignments came from there, leaving him with little time to work in Spain or Europe. In that time in Spain, he has mostly worked in advertising for brands like Winston and the Port Aventura Park Amusement Park. Additionally, he has crafted numerous movie posters and designed several posters for the Sitges Fantastic Film Festival, which happened to be in the same city where he resides. Apart from creating illustrations for commercial purposes, Manuel San Julián has also created many figurative paintings. He has showcased these paintings in various galleries, and he has even exhibited his artwork multiple times in the Society of Illustrators in New York. As we conclude our journey into the captivating world of Manuel San Julian's artistry, one can't help but marvel at the depth and versatility of his contributions to the realm of fantasy and horror illustration. From the iconic covers of Vampirella to the atmospheric scenes that brought nightmares to life in creepy and eerie, San Julian's ability to weave a narrative through his brush strokes, whether it's capturing the essence of a movie or bringing a advertising to life, speaks volumes about his enduring talent. Whether you are a seasoned enthusiast or a newcomer to his art, there is no denying the timeless allure of San Julian's masterpieces. <laughs>